Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the hydraulic press again. So in the last video we got everything built. It's working really good. I built some shelves for one of my friends this morning and it, it worked perfectly. The only problem is whenever you do bends, you have to use the angle finder to make the exact same bend over and over to make sure you hit the right angle. So to prevent that, we're going to be using a limit switch, which is this right here. So what happens is we're going to be putting a adjustable bolt that moves with the press right here. And whenever that bolt hits this trigger right here, you'll hear it click. So whenever it clicks, it's gonna disconnect the power to the foot pedal and then the press will stop. So with that being said, we need to make the bolt so we can adjust that up and down. And then we also have to make a plate that attaches here and that will wrap around the front side where the switch will be mounted. So I have this drawn up here out of a four inch piece of quarter inch thick plate. We're going to cut this cor top corner out, we're going to bend it on this line, and then I'm going to draw another line here to bend it. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's get this thing cut out and bent. Let's get right to work. We have the bracket we bent now attached, as you can see here, and we put two number 10 by 32 by one inch screws in there. Uh, the pack comes with six of them and you need four of them for this um, limiting switch. And then I let my buddy weld this nut and bolt on here. Um, so essentially this is gonna be your adjustable angle um, stop. So you wanna have a long bolt here and a nut on top so you can lock it in place whenever you get to the desired angle. With that being said, the next thing we need to do is wire up this limit, sw limit switch to the foot control. So it's real simple. There is two screws on either side of this foot pedal. Uh, and this is the foot pedal that comes with the pump down there. So I am gonna undo those real fast and we will drill a hole in the front of this and open it up and I'll show you what to do from there. So let's get back to work. First thing first is make sure you are not plugged into power before you open this. Make sure the power is completely disconnected. But with that being said, this red terminal or red wire came from this middle terminal here. This is your constant power running from the pump. So whenever you press down that button right there, it makes complete contact and turns on your power. With that being said, you're going to need two separate wires for this limit switch. One of them is going to connect to this constant power and run from here up into the limit switch. And then this other one is gonna run from the limit switch back down here into that middle terminal. With doing that, you will be able to lose power in the limit switch and that will cut power to the, the pump and let you do repeatable bends. So what I was told is you wanna make sure your wires are insulated. I know I have three wires here. Um, it's just wire I had laying around and I don't wanna buy new wire for this. So I am going to use this green and yellow wire for my constant and this white wire for my switch wire. So with that being said, let's get all this tidied up, ran on the press and to the limit switch, and then I will get back to you after that. We were able to get everything wired up. So we will do a test try here. I'm gonna do a little POV. So push down on the front. Whenever it hits that spot right there, it stops. Push back on the pedal, it'll release the fluid. Hear the click, that's when you can start it again if you needed to. And I'm gonna maybe add some more springs in here so it moves up faster because it moves up pretty slow as you can see. But as you can see, it'll stop again. So limit switch works really well. 
And that's going to be wrapped to this video. Thank you for watching. So as you can see here, we got the limit switch and everything buttoned up. I still need to cut off the bottom of these screws, but we have the wire down here all wrapped up and looking neat now. But if you would like to build this press, I have a link in the description to my Etsy page. I have full blueprints for this that is including the thickness of metal I used, the length, all the cuts, all that kind of stuff. I also have where I ran the hydraulic lines, how long they are, what size they are. Um, same with the limit switch, where to run the lines and everything, which I hope this video helps if anyone is confused with the plans because it's kind of hard to type it out. I did the best I possibly could though. And then um, I purchased the actual press off of Swag Off-Road. So that comes as a kit by itself. Uh, there's a few things I did change on the plans from what I did. For example, here is pretty thin. I made this a little bit wider for y'all. And then I also made this area here lower so that you'd have more room to move the press up and down. I've had very good luck with the limit switch. I've done a few bends already with it. I actually built me some card holders earlier, uh, business card holders. Worked really, really well for that. So I am very pleased with how it came out. But other than that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.